I would really appreciate if you can go and share this video out with as many people as you know just to get the message out there on the internet. So I was watching this video from Kareem at Wally yesterday about hashtag stop Islam. He uploaded this video in response as to what happened earlier that day in Brussels. There was a terrorist attack at the airport and in a subway station where about 34 people in total lost their lives. And my condolence goes out to the people that lost their family by the way. Now I just want to address the topic war and terrorism in this video. I'm not making this video just because I live in Belgium but also I want to make this video to address what Kareem said yesterday in the video that he uploaded on Facebook. What he said was, now you guys want to stop hashtag Islam? Fine. We will show you how much we are willing to work with you to stop these terrorists because they have nothing to do with Islam. I am not religious, but coming from a person that's really religious, that is willing to stop his own belief just to stop the terrorism, I think that deserves a lot of respect and I'm pretty sure not only him, but also thousands of other Muslims are willing to do this because not every Muslim is bad. Now what is my opinion about war and terrorism? I'll be discussing that later on in the video. So we googled yesterday, what are the pros and cons of war? Pretty much, what are the positive and negative things about war if you didn't know what pros and cons mean. There was a list that showed up a lot of pros and cons and I also wrote down my own pros and cons what I think what is good about war and what is bad about war. First the pros and cons of DNA will be showing up and then afterward the pros and cons what is my opinion will be showing up on screen.
So what is my opinion about war and terrorism? If you're starting war, innocent people will eventually be the dupe of it. If you're a terrorist, innocent people will be the dupe of it also because you're purely attacking innocent people that have nothing to do with the war. But then Crystal, how the fuck do we stop war and terrorism, you're asking me? Well, honestly, guys, I do not know. The only reasonable thing I could come up is with stop shooting each other, stop killing each other, stop bombarding everybody and everybody that's innocent and freaking talk. Because with only with talking, you're going to be able to solve issues. You're not going to be able to solve issues when you're going to shoot each other or shoot at each other because that will only lead to more hate. If I would have killed somebody and the next day I would be walking freely on the street and there happened to be a family member on the same exact street that I'm walking on, I'm pretty damn sure that the person of that family member would pretty much do anything that is in his power to do the same thing back to me, if not that, pretty much just beat the living shit out of me just to get rid of his anger. Now anger is a thing that's been driven also by terrorists and what they do is the exact same thing that happened to their family and maybe their people in their area. They are gonna attack people that are also innocent and at the end they're just gonna try and make everybody afraid and that's what's driven by terrorists. They are just trying to get rid of their anger and making people afraid of them. But should we really be afraid of them? In a certain way, yes, because you do not know who a terrorist exactly could be and when they're gonna be attacking. Imagine you're gonna be eating really nicely at a nice restaurant and then boom. Someone is gonna be there blowing themselves up right next to you, rest in peace, you cannot do anything about it. The chance of that happening is fairly small though, but what we really should be doing is not just sit inside being afraid of them because what they want is to be us afraid. We should exactly do the opposite and go outside and show that we are not afraid of them and then the chance that they will be doing these attacks is gonna be way lesser obviously because then they will see there's no point of doing what we're doing right now because they're not getting afraid of us. A perfect example, a few months back there was a Paris attack. They kill a lot of people. The next day, a bunch of people, thousands of people were outside walking through the streets. If they were smart, they could have killed everybody that's there at the place by one bomb. They could have killed so many more people, but did they do it? No, because they were afraid of us, because we were more people than they could expect. And that's why. That's why we should not be afraid and that's why we should be showing strength. Enough ranting about this now, you know my opinion now and I just want to go and ask you guys a few questions and hopefully you will be answering them honestly in the comment section below. Defeating hate with hate only leads to more hate. Another saying about this is, who bounces the ball can expect the mech. What do you think about that? Second question, for the past 15 years we've been fighting terrorism, but the result is only more terror. What will you actually do to stop this? Now the third question pretty much is also what's leading to why Kareem made a video about a hashtag stop terrorism. So the question is, Muslims are the biggest victim of terrorism. More attacks happen in Muslim countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria. Yet tons of people blame all the Muslims for terrorism what they have done. What is your opinion about that? And now the last question, in horrific times people often show their best side. After the attacks in Brussels as an example, there were many people who were reunited and showing solidarity and they were called not to hate. What do you think about this? Now the last thing I want to add on to this is stop posting and commenting hashtag stop Islam, instead post hashtag stop war and terror and pretty much be solidar to the people that have suffered from horrific events in the past instead of hating on a certain group of people that have nothing to do with terror.